Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and this is my husband Justin and we are full-time resellers. So today's video is going to be a massive haul video. We have sourced so much in the last two and a half days. Today's Sunday. We went to the outlet on Friday, okay. the Goodwill outlet. Yesterday we went to a church sale, a 99 cent sale. Justin sourced a bunch of weights. Today we went to Goodwill's 99 cent sale. I actually went to one, he went to another. Plus he picked up a couple free items too. Um, so if you could see our living room right now, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six like Ikea bags full of clothing. So, so my hope with this video is I want to show you the normal stuff that we are easily able to source to sell on eBay and Poshmark. There'll be a few gems mixed in here, but most of this is what people consider bread and butter. You know, things that are going to probably make like a 10 to $20 profit per item. So you're just going to get to see a wide range of it today. Um, and then you also see a little bit of weights that Justin picked up. Plus, we're going to announce the winner of the free month of My Reseller Genie. Okay, so first we'll go over the church sale. We went to a church sale. I'll put the picture up of us in line at the sale over Justin's face for a second. All right, so they do where you get almost like a garbage bag size bag, and it's $5 for whatever you can fit in it, and it's clothes, men's, women's, children, and shoes. So I'm going to show you what we got for $5. There is one thing missing because we got my niece a gorgeous Disney princess bell dress. Hers, she outgrew, so we got her one in the next size, but that has already been given to her. So that's included also. But the first thing, so excited about this, sorry, the collar flip. This is Storybook Knits. I don't know how well known it is. I have sold it numerous times before. I think it might come from Home Shopping Network. This is a plus size and it is brand new with tags but they just make heavily embellished sweaters. Sometimes I've sold Easter ones with like bunnies and even like the buttons were bunnies and stuff, but these normally sell for a good bit. I'm gonna list this for $59.99. Obviously we're kind of out of sweater season, so it might be around for a little while, but still super excited about that. Um, next piece was just a woman's plus size Croft and Borrow um, shorts. I only grabbed it because it was new with tags. I mean, I would think these should sell for around like 15 to 18. And then this is a very cute Lane Bryant size 18, like with cute little cap sleeves with, um, what are they, ties on them, summer dress, um, like double lined, really nice quality. So, um, I mean, I would think this should probably be like 22, 25 ish. I'll do one more thing before Justin does his first pair of shoes. This was so exciting. I mean, I was bummed because it was only an extra small, but still Patagonia. Love finding Patagonia. And for being like a light colored piece, it is in excellent condition. All right, show us one of your shoes. Okay, here are a pair of Skechers. These are really just bread and butter shoes. They usually go for around 20, uh, but when you're throwing them in a bag, the shoes were included in the bag sale too. So really any shoes in good condition we'd probably pick up for uh, in that yeah. price range. All right, this is a Chico's Travelers, like the acetate stretchy um, tank top. It's in a size two, which is a large, it does have some crusty food on it. They clearly wore it and didn't wash it. So that's gonna be washed. And then this is another Chico's. This is more of a modern stretchy um, tank top, also in a size two. This, super excited about, Nua Tags Torrid. And it is like a longer length blouse. It has a tie and it has this cute hearts pattern on it. So to find Nua Tag stuff at a bag sale like this is awesome. We also got this Kelvin Klein new with tags, just basic turtleneck black and red sweater. I mean, I would think that should go for like 20-ish. Check out this Buffy the Vampire Slayer 2X t-shirt. Um, so apparently 
the Slayer is written like the band Slayer. When is the band Slayer from? Is it like an 80s band, a 90s band? Mm, probably late 80s, okay. I think. Yeah. I had never heard of Slayer. I was more into Bon Jovi and Poison, apparently. But um, I just thought it was cute, and I loved that it was a larger size. And then before Justin goes, I'll grab one more. This is a Disneyland size large, brand new with tags t-shirt. All right, you can go again. Okay, here are a pair of Converse, which uh, we don't pick up a lot of Converse because a lot of our sourcing is at the bins and they're just too heavy. But these are in really like new shape. Uh, Julie said they'll go for probably around 30, 35. And uh, what, I haven't really seen this style before. Yeah, I guess like it's a like a mule. mule. Yeah, normally yeah. The, it's the shorelines that have elastic in the back of them that were very popular like the last few years. And then yeah, last year they, they kind of died off. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin found this cute stitch fuzzy sweatshirt. No idea what it'll go for. If it's not worth that much, we'll just donate it. Because as we said, we pay $5 for all of this. And this really pretty um, towel bits, just lightweight baby pink sweater in excellent condition. This is an item I only grabbed because I had like ample room left in my bag. It's a Chico's um, like jean jacket. I just have not done well with their like denim. It's like a celery green though. It's in a size three, which is an extra large. So I was like, yeah, we'll give it a try. You can do your last pair of All shoes. All right. Some other bread and butter. Uh, these are Crocs kind of like ballet flat style shoes. Uh, we always pick these up if they're in good shape. They always seem to sell fast around $20 range. All right. I got this women's Nike. It's like a short sleeve hooded sweatshirt zip. I, um, I looked comps up really quick. They're only going for like 10 to 15. I'll have to see how saturated the market is. It might not even be worth listing. We'll see. This is a Christian Serrano, just very pretty, like boho embroidered sleeveless shirt. Um, and then this is my last piece, and I was another super excited J. Jill, brand new with tag, $69. Cute blouse with like this ruffle bottom on it. So all of what we just showed you, $5. $5. So it was like 23 cents a piece or something like that. Mm -hmm. So even if we don't list a couple of the pieces, I mean, our buy cost for each item is still going to be like 40 cents each. So that beats out 99 cent day. So that was our first haul. I guess now maybe we'll move on to our bins trip. All right. So for this bins trip, we spent $42 on the nose because we rounded up. Um, so let's jump into it. I found a pair of diesel men's jeans. This is the style name on it. Oh, crop, crop. Quat. Quat? <laughs> I don't know. I thought you would do better than me. <laughs> so it's a button fly. They're in really good condition and they're just in size and he's trying to steal mm -hmm. them. They seem like they'll sell for around 40, so I might not let him steal them. We'll see. I don't know if I'd like the button flies anyway. Uh, yeah, too mm -hmm. complicated for you. <laughs> All right, here is an Eddie Bauer new with tags flannel. Uh, $75 MSRP and that's the kind uh, of thing that we only pick up because it's new with tags. Yeah. All right. This never heard of Robin's jeans and the, I grabbed them out of the bins for two reasons. One, because they were new with tags and two, because like they have this heavy tag that also comes with this metal keychain that says robin's jeans like if a company's spending that much money on all this stuff i feel like they got to be pretty expensive jeans they were originally 175 and they were marked to 99 dollars um, these are also just in size mm. so when i looked them up yeah these jeans can go for a lot of money this is definitely a more basic style they had some really like kind of crazy looking ones but i still think maybe 50 to 75 for these jeans so that's cool here are some Izod uh, men's shorts, new with tags. Uh, probably wouldn't have picked these up otherwise, but. I think when I looked them up, it was like the 15 yeah. to 18 range. All right, this is a J. Crew collab. It's Thomas Mason's shirtings for J. Crew. There it is. But it is like this crazy. I mean, these are all heavy, huge, like rhinestones stuck to the top of this blouse. 
I did just a quick look at the bins because I know a lot of times when there's like collabs, they, you know, it increases the value. Um, I found other pieces with this collab, but I did not find this exact one and they were going for a decent amount of money. So it, you know, wasn't super heavy, probably paid like two bucks for it. So I was like, I will give it a shot and see what this ends up going for. Here are a pair of khakis. These are possibly for me. They're my size polo. So just flat front khakis. Pants. I probably can use them. So. All right. And this is a very pretty women's Talbot size um, 16 petite, like summer dress. Got a ruffle on the bottom. Has the matching belt somewhere over oh, there. It is matching belt, um, like V-neck front. Just a very pretty print. Um, I would think this should go for at least 25. This is a Chico's top uh, size three. It's button front, point. roll tab sleeve, you know, just a basic. Um, for Chico's, I try not to get anything super plain, um, but like the three quarter sleeve shirts, um, especially like the no iron ones, things like that, they're just like staples that sell well for me. So we grab them. Um, this is just a pretty J gel popover tunic length blouse in a size large. Here's a Karen Scott new with tags. Uh, I mean, we wouldn't pick up Karen Scott if it wasn't new with tags, but. This... And it was an XL. Like oh, if that would have been a small, too, yeah. would not have picked it up, even if it was new. So it was the combination of all those. This is a very cute Telbits. Um, it's linen like summery shirt and an XL looking for linen and you know those lightweight fabrics. Here is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater new with tags. Uh, we I mean also wouldn't have picked this up probably uh, probably not. Yeah. It's an XL but normally wouldn't pick up this brand. But yeah new with tags it's worth it. This is a Susan Graver liquid knit um, like button front Sure, we do well with Susan Graver, especially like, like her very stretchy kind. I'm, I do prefer, you know, the plus sizes, but this was an XL, so I decided to grab it. Should I show? Oh, These sure. are some free country, like hiking, swim trunk type shorts also in my size. So I'm going to try them out and see if I like them, but they probably would sell. Somebody anyways, was shopping yeah. for himself, though I do. I did get one thing, which you'll see too. Um, this is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort XL um, shirt. I mean, this is very bread and butter, probably like 15 to like six, 16, 17, but they normally sell pretty fast this time of year. This is a hat that I picked up, uh, Tasmanian Devil, like super dad hat. It's has made in USA on the back and it just just had like some funny cartoons on it and I figured with Father's Day coming up someone might scoop this up all right Justin found this I never heard of it Jerry Sherman it's a 100% silk blouse it has covered buttons going down the front and when I looked it up this brand seemed to do decent um especially with more you know, elaborate, busy prints. And this one has like a floral. It's got like, oh gosh, what's this called? You can all tell me in the comments. No, it's, it's like the, the medallion, man, uh, man, man, I can't remember what it is. You all can tell me below. And then it's got plaid also. So um, super lightweight since it's silk and it was in good condition. This is a button down. <laughs> shirt uh it's a collab chaps ralph lauren uh this is a bigger size too right xl <laughs> it's definitely vintage probably 90s and it has two things going for it it's color block and it's like color block stripe so you know really funky looking um i feel like these are kind of like chandler bing type shirts mm -hmm. from friends so um it also is my size yeah you're just not <laughs> hip enough to pull off 90s yeah. wear. sorry all right. This was another like fancier J. Crew piece, all from the same person. They clearly had just donated, but the label is J. Crew Collection. It has like this all black label. Um, but like, look at this. It's like a almost like a tuxedo vest. Um, it's a women's size two. Like it's a small size, but it is such quality made. Um, 
I'm going to have to do my research on it, but I just couldn't leave it behind. It looked like it could be something cool. All right, here's an L.L. Bean. This is, is this USA? Yeah, made in USA. USA. Wool blend sweater. So it looks like it was in good condition. I didn't see any holes in it, so. We did the hold it up. It's like yeah. I try to hold the whole sweater up to the light, like the different layers to go through it. But you'd be surprised how many times we still miss holes. But sometimes in big sweaters like that, you can easily repair the hole in it. People will still buy it. Um, this is a tell, but it's just kind of like basic three-quarter sleeve striped shirt. Reason why I got it, new with tags, $59.50. Like, who, who pays $59.50 for a three-quarter sleeve t-shirt? Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I can buy this at the bins for a dollar, which I did. So. All right, here's a cool find. This is like an old bowling shirt. Uh, it's definitely well-worn. You can still tell that it's a large barely from the tag and the back has some graphics too so, so if anyone's yeah. familiar with stardust <laughs> diner tell us about it i googled it and i couldn't really find anything so all right i grabbed this purely based on the print i'm not thrilled that it's only a small but it's a talbots but it's got like the equestrian print um button front blouse so i was like and eh, those prints normally do well for me this is another uh, L.L. Bean sweater in a cool, like, uh, pattern. This one's made in Hong Kong. It's also a wool blend. So, so it's vintage, but not as vintage yeah. as the Made in the USA one. All right. Found this Chico's New with Tags mock neck, like, mock neck light weight sweater. Addison Mock, it's called. Um, okay. Chico's size three. Uh, what is? That's just like a button oh, front, three quarter up. sleeve yeah. blouse. Yeah, the kind that I like to find. Um, this is a Cynthia Raleigh, which I don't pick this brand up a lot, but it is a 100% linen, and it has like buttons down the back, um, sleeveless shirt, and it was in a size XL. So I thought it was perfect for this time of year. Um, That's all I got, I think. Oh, I did Unless get some you socks. Want to show you can me. show the socks. Oh. I'm not sure I might sell them because I did find some listed, but check out these new. They were still in the plastic from like Amazon, these Hanes cozy socks. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or list them because I did see some, you know, listed that went for a decent amount. Um I grabbed this. It's a charter club, just another like gingham but with flowers sleeveless summer shirt trying to get stuff like that into the inventory um a victoria's secret pink bra this is this torrid you found it i think it is yeah it's a torrid just tank top i love finding tank tops like this at um the bins because at the bins we're paying like 50 cents for it 99 cent day it's 50 cents more and i know it's only 50 cents but it's a psychological thing for me people oh and then this was for my niece it's an LOL doll dress, and then you want to grab my boots. This was my personal purchase, a pair of Columbia um, like hikers. We do lots of camping in the summer, and we go, our camp, if you walk like three quarters of a mile from our camp, is this gorgeous like hiking trail with an overlook. So I struggle because if I wear my good tennis shoes, um, they always end up getting muddy. But then if I wear old tennis shoes, I end up with pains in my legs. So these are like in such good condition. They were my size. Super excited to find them. All right, so that was our bins haul. And as I said, we paid $42 for all of that. All right, next, um, we'll show you Justin's weights. All right, so I'm going to pop the video on the screen of the weights that Justin got, and he's going to tell us about the weights. Okay, so I had scheduled a pickup for 1 o'clock on, it would have been, was it Saturday, right? Yeah, so I think yes. I uh, I scheduled a pickup for weights for fifty dollars, and in the area there was a yard sale that Julie's mom had sent us a picture because she gets a newspaper and she'll send us like estate sales and stuff that um, come up that people still put in the newspaper. So, Can you imagine spending all the money yeah. to put an ad in the newspaper these so days? So it could be a better bet because a lot of people might not see it if that's the only way they yeah, advertise true. it. 
But anyways, it said it had a bench and weights. It was in the same area, so I stopped there, and he had a big pile of weights, and I asked how much. He said $50. It ended up being around 300 pounds of weights, so that was an awesome deal. And I had to do my next pickup, and it initially said 100 pounds plus the bench, but I could tell from the pictures there was like more than that. It ended up being 175 pounds, and I actually just flipped the bench to a, a local guy and, you know, made a trade for some other weights that I could sell on eBay. So. All right, now we're going to announce the winner to the My Reseller Genie free month contest that I was running last month. So I'm going to put on the screen right now the drawing process of it. I just sorted through all your comments and picked one winner. And the winner is Barbara Perry. Woo! Congratulations, Barbara. I will put my email address on the screen down below. Shoot me an email. Or if you're on Instagram, you can DM me and I will give you the details to how to claim your free month. And if you weren't a winner, don't forget that if you use the code Mrs. Frugal, all one word, you can get 15% off your first month of My Reseller Genie. I could not be more pleased with their accounting software. It just gives you such an insight into your business. So I highly All suggest. Right. So on this haul today, I went to our local Goodwill and I picked up nine items. But when I got home, she only charged me for eight items. She was struggling. She kept going through the bag and re-ringing stuff. I don't know. So I paid $8 for the things I'm going to show you. And then Justin was out doing a free pickup and he stopped at a Goodwill and got three pieces. So he paid essentially $2.97 for his. I paid, or did you round up? I paid $3. $3. Yeah. All right. He paid $3. I paid $8. We have 12 pieces here total um, that we got. So I will go first. I grabbed, you'll notice the theme today. There were, It's Ann Taylor and Chico's is my theme for my pickups. Um, there was tons of Chico's today in the red. This is a size one, which I don't get as excited about. But look, there's hidden zebras. It took me a minute to see it even. So excited for that shirt. I'll do two since I... All right, then I also got this Chico's. It's just like a kind of silvery shirt, but it has an animal print to it. And then another Chico's. This feels like it was never even like worn. It's still like very thick feeling. I don't know how else to describe it, but um, it's just like a paisley print shirt. Go ahead and go. I got this Torrid 3. Uh, it's got a cold shoulder and like long sleeve velvety type shirt. All right. This is another Chico's. It's their easy wear line, which seems very much like the Travelers to me, but it's like studded with um, rhinestones on the front, just basic shirt. And then my last Chico's piece was this like velvet, um, kind of like a slouchy neck. Um, with pockets like pullover. Um, I was on the fence about getting this, but when I looked it up, there was ones that sold for like 25 and 29 for it, so I grabbed it. Here is an Eileen Fisher XL, kind of like a basic top, but Eileen Fisher seems to be a pretty safe bet, so pick that up. All right, these are Women's Columbia 3X. They're the PFG Omni Shade like outdoor shorts, so. Thought that was a great find for the size and for this time of year. Good, you can do your last one before I jump into mine. All right, and here is a Catherine's 4X top that uh, I only looked at this because it was a 4X because uh, Catherine's I wouldn't normally. It's got some cute ruching on the side. All right, and then I have three and Taylor pieces, all new with tags. These are their Metro shorts in a size 10. These are their sleep shorts, which are insane because the price tag on these is $34.50 for sleep shorts. And then these ones are so cute. They're like a tapestry um, short and they're a size four. So those were some cool finds to find shorts this time of year, all with new with tags for 99 cents. All right. And the last thing we have to go over is yesterday we went to sell to... St. Vincent. Vincent. And we got four pieces there, which was kind of a bummer, only four pieces. But um, here we'll show you what we got there. Here is a Quacker Factory zip up hoodie, uh, size 
was it 3x mm -hmm. it's got a nautical theme to it with cute little anchors on the buttons and like the you know the striped print that kind of gets associated with it so yeah i love quacker factory in plus size and since that was a 3x this was a really weird and crazy one it was it's uh forever 21 which i normally don't pick up but i grabbed it only because of its strangeness it's like a micro faux, faux suede with these like crazy fringe arms little mini dress i don't know but it was new with tags so i decided to take a chance on it here is a Chico size one button up. Uh, yeah, those like are like floral, the basic. Yeah. yeah, like eighteen to twenty dollars shirts. And the last thing was this Talbot. It's new at tags, but it is the old style. That's what the very old tag looks of Talbot. But since it was new, they're just like a cottony drawstring waist size sixteen pants, perfect for like summertime because they're really lightweight. All right, so for everything you just saw, we spent $62 on all the clothes and shoes, and then he spent $100 on all the weights. So amazing haul. Um, excited to start the week, you know, with all of this cool stuff to get listed. Um, I still have a few pieces left from the last few hauls downstairs, but then I'll get to working on this. I think you have some um, weights. To list, I Ways presume. to list, <laughs> yeah. yep. That's exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.